So have I got a cool product for you today? This is very much a uh, camper van vibe. Um, so if you're watching it on my landscape channel, I use my van a lot in my landscape photography and this may be a good product for you for finding locations if nothing else. I have been sent um, a large nine inch car stereo they call it. This is a HD display nine inch IPS touchscreen BT USB TF audio visual voice control USB charger port. There you go. Um, basically it's a large monitor screen. Now, I just want to say a quick thank you to Jackery. Um, I'm going to have to say thank yous to Jackery's in lots of my videos now because they use these. I use these to charge everything, and I'm going to use it on the 12 volt port to get this running for you, so you can see. And to be honest, this is for designed to be mounted on the vehicle and use your cigarette lighter, but. I've got a better way of using it because I can use it in the car as well, in the van, in the back. So this, this goes a long way, but yeah, Jackery is brilliant. This is a 240. I've also got a 500 and a 1000 watt. They are both at the home at the moment, getting as much free electricity out the sun as I possibly can because uh, energy bills are rather expensive. Uh, you get a manual, you get a manual in the box um, with all the relative information. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to wing it a little bit. I've had a little tiny play with this, um, but it is only a little tiny play and I want to wing it a little bit because a lot of people, when they get these gadgets, they don't really know much about them. And I'm the same. I like to get them out of the box, have a play. I have a quick peruse through the instructions. If I really can't work it out how to do things. And I had to have a little bit of a peruse in these instructions because, um, I didn't. And, as I'm dyslexic, these sort of things are gibberish to me. I can't get that information in my head. So there you go, look at this nice nine inch display. Now this can be mounted in several different ways. And I'm just gonna quickly show you those first. First of all, you get this really nice um, stand and it clicks into position so you can have it turning left, right, tilting backwards and forwards. And basically this just literally does just slot onto it like that. Okay, so if you want it on the, if you mount this and screw this, or even with the um, M3 tape, you can stick this to your dashboard or in the back of your van even, and you can just tilt it down out of the way when you're not using it and you can see past it, or you can tilt it forward a little bit. Um, and if you wanted to angle it round, you can angle it round. Okay, so I think that that mount is really, really good. There also comes another mount if you want it. You get the little black uh, cap that you can either screw to your dashboard. If you haven't got a smooth dashboard, you can actually screw this down or you can stick it down with a little sticky pad on the back. This gives you a nice flat, shiny surface. And then of course, you know what's coming. You get a car mount. And the same with this car mount. This can be stuck to the windscreen. It's one of them, it's one of them sticky ones. So once it's stuck down, it shouldn't come off. And excuse any wind, I've got the roof of the van open and it's blowing a gale through it. Uh, and again, you've got a way of, a, adjusting your tilt. You've even got a telescopic section there so you can bring it out and mount it further forward. This might actually work quite well on mine because I don't want it right up to the screen. With it being nine inches, if it's right up on the screen, it's gonna take a big chunk of windscreen away. I wanna bring it a bit further forward so I can see past it. So this might work really, really well once it's attached. Um, and the same again, all you do is you drop this onto the little um, bit on the back there. Let me just show you this. On the back there, you have these little knolls and you have these little clips. And when you put it in and lock it in, like so, it doesn't fall off, all right? So that's the way you do it. You get it in and you lock it in. Did you hear the click? That can't physically come off now because I've clicked it in. Okay, so you must click it in to make sure it's secure um, and not just rest it there. There are two screw sockets on the back here. I've not taken these off, but I'm assuming there may be some sort of batteries in there or something. I don't actually know what's in there, but I'm guessing you might be able to put battery power. So I'm gonna take these screws off, possibly before the video goes out and just have a look inside and I'll put it on the screen up there if it is. Um, I haven't got a screwdriver handy. So for the moment, I'm gonna mount it on this just so I can stand it up and show you what's going on. Okay, tilt it back so it stands up. So you can see there it's standing up. Also inside you get a small socket with a USB uh, with a, sorry, a 12 volt socket. I'm going to plug that into the Jackery in a moment. And you also get a 3.5 um, audio visual plug, is it? Um, a jack. So basically you can plug this thing in and connect it to your vehicle. So on the side, 
on the side we've got a power button sorry on the top we've got a power button on the side we have um, a mic so you can actually fit a mic you've got a tf and the tf is for a micro sd card that's in the side here um, you've also got um i can't see my glasses on you've got a camera in which i've got here it also comes with a camera if you buy the kit that comes with the camera you get a camera with it as well so that camera goes onto the rear view so if you've got a vehicle that hasn't got a display you know display or a screen uh, i've got a tiny screen on mine but not like in my car i've got a great big display on my own in the car so you can plug this in and you can have this in the back basically it's, an, uh, it's a car play system uh, and you've got an av out and you've also got your dc in and a usb socket so you can put your usb socket in there you can put this little memory chip you know your usb plug it in and you can actually watch movies on it brilliant 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 right so let's move some of this stuff out of the way and just have a quick it's getting warm in here it's getting really warm in here what's the temperature we are at 25 degrees <sighs> not good i've got the roof open and everything trying to let some air through socket to plug into the jackery just while we get this to run so that's going to go in there and this is going to go in the side there this should now when i press the button should come on if i turn the power on that is as soon as the power comes on this should come on there you go you can see it coming on now and if i put it on top of the box hopefully you'll be able to see what i see when i see it so it's on top of the box you can see it's a very big display and i've got i know i'm really close to you and i keep looking at the screen but we know i'm very close to you so there we go we got the carplay system up this is what you see this is your home screen um, when it's connected to your vehicle noisy bike so again if you plug this in uh, the volume will then come through the vehicle um, you can also it's, it's asking to connect to my phone so i'm going to connect it to my phone um, my phone is down here and i'm going to just unplug it so i can see my phone as well at the same time so it's asking to connect to my phone and when it connects to my phone it should bring up um the carplay phone so there we go it's now playing some music in the background i'm just gonna stop that so i had um spotify playing i've uh, been using it through the van been using my spotify and it's just started playing spotify in the background so i'm just going to quickly switch it on so you can hear it and we've got volume somewhere So I'm not going to keep that on, otherwise I'm going to get a strike and I don't want to be getting a strike. But you can see that's playing in the background. So let's go back to the home. So we've got um, music. We've got Amazon Music that's on there. It's all touch play. And go back. We've got BBC Sound. We've got Maps as well. Maps is really cool. So this is working through my phone now. It's connected to my phone and it's showing me where I am. Um, so I've got a full map system on here. Uh, we can go to 2D version. This is like Google Maps and Google Search. We can scroll out. Let's scroll out. You can see there. We can click the home point where we recenter. Brings us back to the center. We've got volume. We can go out and go bigger. So it really does show everything. We can even put in there search. Um, we don't want to be searching for home. Why well, is my postcode anyway? It's come up. But let's say we're searching for York. That address there it gives up the directions, and then we can actually. Hit, we can hear that saying. It's speaking now dismiss of and this is now head north head northeast hopefully you can hear that head northeast there you go hopefully that's giving us some sound so yeah we can use the maps on there which is really really good um, so it gives you this nice display on the front of your car to to be using maps uh, i've got samsung sound on here obviously because i've got a samsung phone uh, playlists i've got my playlist in there most played recent girls road rock stuff like that, different tracks that I've got in there, all the stuff in there, more albums, playlists, folders, etc. Press the home button and go back. Uh, we've got a calendar as well. You can bring up a calendar. I've got no event saved for today. And then we've got a podcast. So if you want to listen to your podcast, we've got some podcasts. Uh, we've got Scott Mills on the podcast. We've got anyone else on here? Uh, missing cameras, we've got them on there. Um, we've got all sorts of podcasts that I've got saved on my phone which are now on here so I can listen to these while I'm driving along click the home button so we can go back to home 
and this will take us back to your main display. So what, what you want to do really when you first get your when you first get your device is you go into iPlay, which is connecting your iPhones, you can go into uh a auto which is connecting your Samsung's and you've got airplay and airplay is the one that connects your phone up we've got a Wi-Fi system on here as well so it's got its own Wi-Fi uh, volume we can mute it and everything there's loads of little things you can do you've also got a radio on here so you can go on and connect your radio it's at the moment it's connected to 9890 um, this needs to be then played through the uh, radio on the phone on the car so you can connect this up to your car and you can play a radio you get this nice big display you've also got brightness you can you know adjust the brightness of this thing you can have it on auto brightness so it dims at night the time comes up when you get it all connected you can have the time coming up if you're not sure how to connect all these things there are hundreds of videos on this i just really wanted to show you the basics of it and the simplicity of it now i'm going to mount this on my dashboard in a minute and i'm going to connect it to the car and then i'll reset the camera up and just show you it playing through the car and the beauty of what it is now let's say you can take an sd card if you've got your sd card you can plug it in the back there or same again with a usb device you can plug it in the back and you can have uh, stuff coming up on here so I think I've got some stuff on my USB, so I might just plug it in and see what it does. Has that gone in now? Yeah, it's flashing, it's gone all the way in now. So USB, it is illegal to view videos while driving an operation, which we know about. So I'm just gonna mute the sound because I don't want the sound moving. So yeah, while you're in the vehicle driving, it's illegal to watch movies, so we need to actually override that let's see what else we've got on this usb video format not supported that's because i've got some stuff on it from work video supported let's can we go into menus let's go into menus we've got forklift truck stuff on here uh counterbalance photos we've got any photos on there selfies no yes we've got some selfies on here so let's have a little click on one of these and see what they do. So it's a good way for viewing photographs, if nothing else. Play, let's press play. And it's a good way for viewing photos as well. There you go, you can see the photos have come up. Uh, how do we operate this? Can we go sideways, left, right, up and down? Oh, I see there's a, an arrow on that side. We can go to the next one. You can't quite strike through them. Next one, next one. So yeah. Good way for viewing photographs. Uh, let's go back to menu. Return. We've got audio. What we've got on there audio wise? Any audio? Uh, no, no audio. It says playing anyway. Videos. So yeah, there's, it's a good way of putting things on a movies and stuff if you want to watch a movie. And I thought that you could take the car mount and I could actually sucker this to the inside of the van in the back window and I could actually have this turn sideways on and have it as a display on the inside of the van i thought that'd be a really good idea to be able to check photographs look through photographs and to actually you know have the radio on and stuff like that so yeah that works pretty well uh, as a usb so we need to make sure that we can play this through the vehicle and get some sound so i'll see you back in a minute i've been talking for 15 minutes my goodness all right so just for the purposes of this video uh, there's the uh, little camera it comes with it or if you buy the camera, you get this little tiny weeny camera. It's only about 20 centimeters all the way around. And it comes with a very long lead if you buy the extremely long one. This is the six meter one, I think it is, uh, because I told them I've got a van. So you basically plug the yellow into the yellow and then this will be mounted on the back of your van by your number plate i am going to put this on the roof i've got a reversing camera already that looks down i've also got a rear view camera on my next base which protects the back of the van and i can watch all the stuff that's going on but this i want to put on the roof so that if i've got my cycle on the back or i want to have a look at the whole area around the back of the van where my bikes are on the back of the van i can see with this plus i'm going to try and rig it up so it runs permanently so it's like a rear view mirror so that when denise is driving she can see outside the back easily so I'm just going to prop this at the back run this really long cable down the front and then we'll jump in the front uh, I'm just playing with the screen at the moment I just need to try and find somewhere to mount the camera so you can see forwards um, so I'm going to turn it round and face it out the front of the vehicle um, rather than looking at me so uh, yeah just bear with me a second I managed to rig the camera up so you can see what I'm doing on the display. Um, I can go a little bit wider maybe, but I'll try and keep it on the display. Um, I'm in settings at the moment because I'm trying to work out how the camera and that works. Uh, basically, well, my ignition's gone off, so I'll just turn the ignition back on. 
because you have a timer on the um, we have a timer on the uh, 12 volt socket and it's plugged in there. So ignition's on. As soon as you turn the ignition on, the 12 volt comes live. It brings it on live. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I then assume as soon as it comes on, it will connect to my phone, and when it does, it will pop up on the screen and say pool 21 which is my s21 um, but in the meantime i just want to show you the rear view camera it's saying bluetooth disconnected now it's just come on green and staying connected so it must be now connected to my phone which i've obviously lost there you go so it's connected to my phone and i'll say yes please let's connect it to that uh, the android device is my auto right so first thing i want to do is try and play i've got the the radio on in the background at the moment so i just want to connect the um, autoplay So some time has passed since I last had the video on. Um, I got talking to um, a crew outside the van and uh, it's a film crew making small videos on YouTube. So um, yeah, well not small videos, but small movies and really intrigued. Uh, so I spent hours talking to them. So I've just come back to this now. Um, and I'm just looking on the screen at certain different things that are on. I'm on obviously mounted on the dashboard and I've got the screen up now because the sun's bursting through the front of the screen as well. So I've gone on to um, Autolink. Autolink is a wired connection. So you basically plug in your phone. Uh, you connect your phone directly into the side uh, with a uh, data cable. And you can actually have a mirror link set up as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but what I wanted to do was check the rear camera. So the rear camera, when I plug it into the back, because it's constantly powered, it's coming up um, as an upside down image and I'm just trying to work out how you turn this image up the other way. I think you have to mirror it so you flip it round so I need to go into the settings and I have to unplug the camera because it's obviously wired. I've hardwired it at the moment in the back of the van uh, so I need to go into the camera and let's have a little looky see car parking video rear camera mirrored uh, so it must be mirrored that way uh, there's also parking lines and stuff you can set up on this. Um, parking lines on. Let's have a look and see what else we can do. There's no swipe on it, you just click OK. Um, is there different ones we can have? Up and down? No, not that I can see. Um, let's try different things. I know there are other shapes, I've seen them online when I've looked. So let's go to parking lines. Let's just plug the camera back in. So when you basically put it in reverse and you wire it up, as soon as you go into reverse, it will then switch on here. So you've got parking lines here. Uh, we need to try and get rid of those as well at the moment if I can. So I'm just going to unplug it again, which is basically simulating taking it out of reverse. Um, parking lines, turn them back off. Uh, what else can we do? Rear camera, it says rear camera mirror on. Uh, video warning on. We've got lots of different settings in here. You really could play with this for ages and ages and ages. The one thing I do want to check though, before anything, is whether I can get my actual radio. Now, it's not wired up. My radio is actually behind there. So I'm just gonna see if I can get my radio to work through the volume. So at the moment, my radio is off. The ignition's just gone off again. Let's turn the radio back on. Phone disconnected. It says phone disconnected. I know it's disconnected because I just turned the radio off. Right, so let me just turn the volume back down. And what I want to try and do, I want to actually connect the radio. So let's just have a look at this radio and see if this connects to the car radio and starts playing. So I'll go into my media and I'm going to go to line in on my radio. And I'm hoping we're going to get something playing through the music. Play music from device, yes. This might take a little bit of getting used to. Let's try a different media position. BT line in. Let's try another one, USB. CD, mobile apps, so find an app, I'm just going through my radio stations at the moment, I can just see it down in the bottom corner there.
No applications found. No applications found. So I think we need to go to line in, uh, which is that one. And it's connected via that. So I'm assuming that we will play the music through the station. Turn the volume up. There's nothing at the moment. Media, let's go back to radio. And that's my radio playing. Let's go to um, radio FM rather than DAB. Radio 1. It's just, I'm not quite sure how this connects. So I'm going to go back to line in and I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go on to uh, music playing, but I don't quite know. Let's go to uh, sat nav. So can I get onto my sat nav from where I am now? Wireless, we need to turn the wireless off, don't we? Auto link, I'll go back to that one. Auto link. Right, I'm struggling a little bit with this. Uh, what's it doing now? I've just pressed exit, have I? Ah, we're now on sat nav. We've gone back to me. We've gone back to me phone now. Right, so maps. Let's get uh, a destination. Seven minutes. Press play. Let's go. Head southwest towards A6187. So that's now playing through. The audio. Head southwest towards A6187. Yeah, so that's now playing from my stereo, which is pretty good. So I assume then if I go to my Spotify and press play. Again, that comes through my audio in the car radio, which is good. So I can have this play in and have this playing from my car, car speakers, which is pretty awesome. I'm just not quite 100% sure how the radio works. So let's go back out, go to home, and let's go back onto the radio and see if I can work out how this actual transmission thing works on the radio. Do we have a volume? That is changing the station. Uh, we must have a volume on here, volume control, anywhere on the screen. That's obviously our off button. So I found this quite a good device. Um, and I think it would be really good once you get used to it, once you get to know how it works and where you're gonna mount it in the, in the van or in the car. Head southwest towards A6187. Right, let's cancel the route. We don't need the route on anymore, do we? Um, I do like the fact that you've got this nice, great big sat-nav display, um, which is pretty good. Um, I just think I need to play a bit more and to learn a little bit more. It just showed I've got a text come through. What happens if I tap on it? Well, as no one has objected, can I officially take the last place, please? See? So the message they... also contains a picture. There you, do you go. Want to reply? <laughs> No. Okay then. That's really good. It actually read out my text message. So if you're driving, um, I got a message through WhatsApp. So I literally just tapped the screen and it read out the message to me, which is pretty good. Um, I've maybe not done it a lot of justice. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think this is gonna be really good. I just need to play with it, learn a little bit more about it. And um, yeah, any information, uh, anything you want to know, let me know and uh, I'll see what I can find out. But I do need to get in the back now and learn how to use this and I may do another tag on video to uh, show a bit more. But yeah, fantastic. I really, really like it. I just need to learn it. <laughs> Ciao for now, guys. Don't forget to check out my other stuff, my other gear, my other bits and bobs and my landscape channel, Paul Compton PD Photography. And uh, yeah, I've also got a calendar out. Appreciate the support. Bye now.